Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have an interesting integral, the integral of e to the x. And most of us know that the integral of e to the x is indeed e to the x. But how do we know? We just memorized it. But do we have proof of that? Well, let's see here. We can actually write e to the x as an infinite sum. e to the x can be written as being equal to 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial and so forth. And of course you get the drift here. This continues on forever. Hmm, which means we can integrate that. So therefore the integral of e to the x dx must be equal to the integral of that entire sum. So 1 dx. And so if we integrate the right side, we get the integral of the left side. So let's do that and see what we get. This is equal to integrate 1, we get x plus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 times 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 times 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 times 4 factorial plus and so forth plus a cause of integration and let's call it c1. Hmm, let's see here. Now we can simplify that somewhat so we can write this as, let's see here, x plus x squared over 2 factorial and I can write this over 1 factorial and this would be plus x cubed and 3 times 2 factorial that would be 3 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 times 3 factorial is 4 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial plus and I can write c1 as being c plus 1 c plus 1 because no matter what c1 is, I can make c1 less than c1 and simply add 1 to that. And then I can take that 1 and write it in the front. And so this can now be written as 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial plus, that would be a factorial, plus a constant of integration. And then notice that this here is simply the infinite sum of e to the x. So this is equal to e to the x plus a constant of integration, which means that the integral of e to the x dx is simply equal to e to the x plus a constant of integration. So there we have it. It's indeed true. And that's how it's shown.